hello friends welcome to selenium tutorial this is video 9 of this tutorial series and in this video i will talk about how to inspect element in mozilla firefox by using firepath firebug and webdriver element locator from earlier videos you can refer my blog testautomated.in and here you can go to selenium tutorials selenium webdriver and you can find it a list of tutorials over here right so you have everything you can go one by one as well you can find the videos on youtube just search it with my name prakash narkhede and go to my channel and then go to playlist and here you can find selenium tutorials right so here i am updating all the videos okay so coming to today's topic how to inspect element our first thing is what is the need to inspect the element in our selenium web driver so let me take one example let me take an example of one side demo web shop so on this side like let us say I want to I want to automate the registration page okay so if I want to automate the registration page and I am on the web, web uh, home page right till now what we saw is we saw how to open a browser and how to navigate to a website right so we open a browser by using a uh, web driver driver is equal to new Firefox driver and uh, then uh, we can navigate it by using driver dot navigate uh, command right but once we are navigated to site what we want to do is we want to click on this button then we want to enter all these details and we want to click on register button so uh, all these things we need to to do these thing what we should know we should know the inner element of this field element of this field element of this field right so in selenium it is called as a web element so we should know web element of this field web element of this field web element of this button web element of this radio button right so we should know web element of all these fields buttons check boxes radio buttons and in short web elements on from the web page now how we can get this web element what will happen is we will get the web element and from that web element by using that web element we will uh, send the value to particular web element or we can check the particular web element or we can click on the particular web element right so how we can get a web element by default any browser will have its own developer tool right so if you right click on this field and click on inspect element then you can see you can see that is this page and this this particular field input name has id is equal to first name class is equal to text box single line then data is equal to this 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 so these are the parameters for this field first name right so what we need is we need a unique path of this field right we need a unique path to this field right so so there are multiple ways to get this path right if you are proficient enough then by using this developer tool itself like you can write uh, the path from this right or as a beginner what you can do is not as a beginner it will be helpful uh, for experience as well what you can do is you can use the add-ons like firebug firepath and webdriver element locator right so <coughs> oh, sorry what is firebug firebug is a add-on to mozilla firefox right note that this firebug firepath and webdriver element locator are can be used only in mozilla firefox as a add-on to it so firebug firebug is used to identify objects within a dom structure right so dom is document object model so whatever we saw now so this is a dom structure right so firebug is used to identify the object so this is my object this is my object this is my object right so firebug is used to identify objects now just so I, ha I have I have not installed firebug as of now so what you can do is you can just check the uh, 
layout how it looks now so the layout will looks different when we use firebug when we use firepath and when we use web driver element <laughs> now how to install it as I said it is an add-on so what you need to do is you need to go to add-ons and get add-on okay go to extensions search for add-ons here I want firebug click on search right the very first one the bug symbol right firebug and click on install that is downloading okay you can see the disabled button now and remove that means firebug is installed now what you can do is we will refresh this page and now can you see one more command here called as inspect element with firebug so just click on it and you can see the layout is different now earlier it was different and now it is different so now what you can do is you can right click and get co like get the element like copy xpath or copy css path right so this xpath and this css path or some other uh, elements will be a uh, web elements path will be used to identify this particular um, field or object from the web page right so along with this firebug now firebug is, is installed now along with this firebug what we need is we need a firepath so this firepath is just an extension to firebug but by using this fire <coughs> sorry by using this firepath what will happen is you can see another tab over here from which you can directly see what is your xpath and you can copy it from there so just go and install a firepath okay so the first one downloading and this firepath needs to restart the browser so just go and restart it okay now we'll go to the same website again now right click and inspect element with firebug now can you see firepath uh, tab over here now what you can do is you can uh, check this uh, click on this locator and move to the element where you want now can you see this is the x path and you can use this x path for your navigation to this particular field or for using this field for interacting with this field right so this is how we can get a x path by using uh, our uh, what is this firebug and firepath right so there are multiple types of x path uh, absolute x path and relative x path so we will talk about this more in my coming tutorials so okay and the next one what I wanted to show you is web driver element locator right so when I right click now I can see uh, options like only inspect elements right but when I uh, but when I will install this web driver element locator I will see some different options so let me show you that web element web driver element locator <laughs> web driver element locator <coughs> okay I don't find it here what I'll do is I'll uh, search it in Google web driver element locator go to the first tab and here this is web driver element locator continue to download add to Firefox and 
we need to add it and so it is <coughs> has been added to a Firefox click on OK now now when you will right click and you can see multiple options again here C hash locator Java locator Python Ruby locator and XPath right so what will happen is <coughs> For this one field, first name field, you can find multiple X path, right? So out of this multiple X path, you can use any of the X path, right? Any one will serve your, right? So you can see here in DOM structure, it has ID, it has name, it has uh, class, it has some uh, what is that type, right? So by using all this uh, properties, we can construct a XPath like you can see here it has used ID then it has used first name then it has used a class right it has used ID name again right so that is how we can use the we can get this XPath of this element by using a uh, firebug firepath and our web driver element locator which is more user friendly to find locators right we, we when we use all these things to inspect the elements in Mozilla Firefox right so <coughs> in my coming tutorial I'll talk about how, how to inspect the elements in Google Chrome by using XPath Finder which is a plugin to it and uh, and IE we have one more plugin so I'll talk about this uh, Chrome and IE in my coming tutorials thanks for watching guys do share my YouTube channel thanks